Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, the storage space um, is still going. Thanks be to God. However, the battery was going very low. So, I just pause and plug it in and I'm back. Glory to God in the eyes. So, we were in the prayer of repentance for those who want to turn away from doing evil, turn away from witchcraft. Now is your opportune time to be saved, to give your life to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. You can look at the very end of the first video for the starting of the prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. However, we can continue here, right here, right now. Say, Heavenly Father, I admit that I have done wrong before you please forgive me of all my sins i am willing to change please help me to change i confess that jesus christ is lord and i believe within my heart that you raised him father from the grave after three days when he was dead father i renounce and you name any form of evil doing that you are doing say i renounce and you name it out hallelujah glory be to god in jesus name i give my life to you now jehovah please cleanse me by the blood of jesus christ make me your own Hallelujah, I accept you now as my personal Lord and Savior. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, thy vows are on me, Lord. Hallelujah, I am yours. I am yours. I commit to your ways in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Oshat Abbas Nalabakorobosla. Glory to God, it is well. You have given your life to the Lord. Stop doing wrong. Stop doing wrong. Get rid of all those necromancy practices. Get rid of those witchcrafts. Get rid of those evil doings. Let not the wrath of God be poured out upon you. Hallelujah, kadosh, kadosh, kadosh. In Jesus' name, there is a free ebook for you. Hallelujah, the Lord has instructed me to write this to give to new Christian converts. You're now a child of God if you have said that prayer of repentance. Hallelujah, glory to God in the eyes. Please go and take a read. The link is in the description box below to that book. Thank you, glory to God. Make haste also to get a bible read the word of the living god for yourself seek the lord daily be baptized water baptism in a bible believing church in the name of jesus christ not any bath those evil bath no the baptism that is described in john chapter 3 Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God in the eyes. Thank you, Lord. Now back to the word. Let us finish. Glory to God in the eyes. So I, hallelujah. So we have seen all the one and only true and living God responded by sending fire upon prophet Elijah's altar, showing his presence, showing that he's pleased. Hallelujah. I had a dream and the dream was saying that in the dream, I was holding on to like a double door. This royal door is as a palace with a huge ballroom inside, poetry room inside. And I and two others were about to enter. And I was, I was saying to them, are you ready? Because you were about to enter. When I entered Hoshatalaba Sanda, there was, there was this weight of ensuring that I had positioned 
hallelujah there was this mat i had i was being watched to ensure that i positioned myself well glory be to god i must so know because there was this screen like this keeping up high that was demonstrating watching everything and gives the standard and in that dream i was being commended for the way how i dressed and the way how i positioned myself hallelujah there were two particular leaders who were there who in the natural are not known to be christian but they were watching i tell you the truth as ministers as servants of the lord there are leaders evil leaders their powers principalities that are there that are watching and examining and watching to see if you will uphold the protocols of the living god as you minister because the, the system of god very 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 based on principles order god is a god of order he's a god of structure hallelujah kadosh 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 just as all in this natural realm we have to follow certain laws and if we don't follow it we are prone to facing all sorts of legalities and consequences so too in the spiritual realm glory to god in the eyes glory to god in the eyes the day when i had this dream was a day when i was supposed to go out ministering glory to god so i had to go in the house of the lord i had to seek the lord more about the meaning and everything glory to god and the lord said to me put on your shoes it is important servants before you go to preach the gospel ensure that you prepare yourself ensure that you consecrate yourself spend time in prayer spend time in fasting spend time seeking the lord glory to god and as the lord would call it put on your shoes for the shoes in the spirit as written in ephesians chapter 6 demonstrate a part of the armor put on the shoes the preparation of the gospel of peace you need to be prepared to know how to walk holy so that you do not fall in any satanic traps glory to god in the eyes in that moment the lord god allowed me he caused me and this other person who were about to go out to minister to ensure that we were in right standing he, he brought our attention that this is very important. If there is any unforgiveness in our hearts, we cannot go out ministering. So we had to spend time repenting and asking the Lord to, to help us to forgive those who offended us. It's not always easy, but it's important. You want to know why? The Lord shared with me this truth. He shared with me that hallelujah that when a person commits a trespass a trespass is a wrong wrong against a person hallelujah their property or against their right glory to god trespass also refers to a moral or religious law kadosh 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 when someone breaks or make an offense against it so trespass can be divided in four parts glory to god in the eyes the lord says this is all we ought to pray father forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us we have to forgive those who have trespassed against us the reason being is because if there is unforgiveness it leaves a room open for satan to come and to cause harm thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah 
hallelujah before we get into the importance of ensuring that we forgive others especially before going out to minister excuse me the lord gave me three verses that he needs for me to share glory to god john 3 verse 30 it is written i have spoken to you remember this verse from the previous recording the lord keeps repeating his word for a reason i have spoken to you of earthly things and you do not believe how then will you believe if i speak of heavenly things jesus was teaching a teacher of the law called nicodemus the importance of being born again lama shoto posta to be able to enter the kingdom of heaven romans 8 verse 12 reads thus hallelujah and i want you to pay keen attention if someone can identify glory to god the key number that is in all three verses you're really paying attention so i have read john 3 verse 12 now romans 8 verse 12 it reads therefore brothers and sisters we have an obligation a duty kadosh 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 hallelujah a debt of gratitude for a service or favor that has been given unto us but it is not to the flesh our obligation is not to the flesh to live according to the flesh hallelujah glory be to god glory be to god those who are born again we are called by god to walk according to his spirit not gratifying the fleshly nature the sinful nature the holy spirit dwells within us giving us the right to be called children of god glory to god we must therefore put to death those sinful nature we have to and walk according to his spirit thank you jesus now luke 12 verse 11 thank you lord reads thus when you are brought before synagogues that's the temple that's the temple right when you're brought before when you're brought before synagogues rulers and authorities do not worry about how you will defend yourselves or what you will say hallelujah this is what the lord is encouraging his people hallelujah why why hallelujah we should not disown glory to god i'm trying to watch the battery glory to god we are not to disown jesus christ hallelujah as children we really should not glory to god so that he will not in turn disown us before the angels of god lama shoto do not rebel against him thank you jesus worst do not blaspheme his spirit because this is the only sin that is unforgivable do not be afraid or worry what you will say or how you will defend yourselves when trouble arises hallelujah and you're brought before the synagogue which is the church house or rulers or authorities hallelujah whether they're spiritual rulers or physical rulers do not be afraid because the same spirit of jesus christ dwelling in you dwelling in me will teach us at that moment in time what to say god will defend me god will defend me say this with me servants of god god will defend me so do not be afraid preach the truth do not suppress the truth glory to god in the eyes now remember i told you that the lord was searching 
wanted us to search our hearts for any form of unforgiveness. And indeed, when we search ourselves, we realize that, yes, someone really did offend us and offend us terribly. You wouldn't even imagine. But the Lord says that this would cause a room for the enemy to attack us. So by the help of the Lord, we forgave the person. Hallelujah. And also because the Lord revealed this importance of forgiveness. According to 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11, it reads this. Hallelujah. In order that Satan might not outwit, outsmart us, the people of God, for we are not unaware of its schemes. Glory to God in the highest. Thank you, Lord. Paul was saying to persons, hallelujah, that they ought to forgive. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the eyes. Thank you, Jesus. I heard the Lord. He said, "Way." You know, when you measure something, he says, we need to weigh the heaviness, the importance to assess the nature, hallelujah, of forgiveness. Hallelujah. So that we are able to make this decision and to act upon forgiving. Glory to God. So let's look at it. The importance of forgiveness. You must forgive because unforgiveness gives room to Satan. It's a part of its scheme. It's wicked scheme. All the schemes of Satan are evil. Glory to God. So the background of 2 Corinthians 2, hallelujah, speaks about these things. Paul was saying, do not be too harsh to the offender or sinner. When someone offends you, don't be too harsh. Glory to God in the eyes. When someone commits an offense against one believer, all believers are offended in some extent. Hallelujah. The opposition given by the majority, that's the believers to the offender, should work on their guilty conscience enough. That alone is enough. Hallelujah. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. To oppose them, to let them know, look here, what you're doing is wrong, is offensive, and you need to stop. Glory to God. For we are not called to be in any fist-to-fist -fist fight. We are called to, to be in spiritual warfare. Lakota Ghost. Now let's look at verse 6. Most of you oppose him. So it was a, a man who had opposed Paul. Who had, by then, hallelujah, everyone who was also for Paul was also offended because of this man, this man evil act. Hallelujah, this man's trespass. Hallelujah. So Paul said in verse 6, most of you opposed him. And that was punishment enough. Let's look at the other sections. However, there is a time to withdraw and to seek for seek to forgive the sinner or offender before they are overwhelmed with guilt and Satan comes into harm. Hallelujah. This is how important it is. Sometimes when persons are new, you find yourself start to think about doing back harm. You want to do things and this is all like, for example, murder and things happen. And the Lord is not pleased with this. The Lord is not pleased with this. This is how the enemy comes in. Sometimes people end up in prison and they're saying, boy, if they had only. You know, oh, Satan crept in. And use them as its vessel to do such a wicked act because they did not forgive. There is a time to forgive. You may be finding it hard, but Jesus is able to help you. It is written, Godless sorrows leads to repentance. However, we must know when to stop and to forgive. 
because the Holy Father says if we do not forgive others, he will not forgive us of our sins. When we repent, we want to be forgiven. So do the same for others. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 2 verses 7 to 8 says, Now, however, it is time to forgive and comfort thee. Whoever has offended you, hallelujah, it is time to forgive them. It is time to move on and to move past that. Stop rubbing on their conscience anymore. You don't want them to feel so overwhelmed with discouragement as it is written here. Otherwise, you may be overcome with discouragement. So I urge you now to reaffirm your love to him. Hallelujah. If a child of God did something wrong, don't let them feel as if they're too far from grace to be able to return. Or if even a sinner did something wrong, you need to be as that child of God, child of love for God is love, to demonstrate love to them. Hallelujah. In the manner, in the wisdom that the Lord orchestrates. Because there are times when the Lord will literally literally for your safety have to take you away from them but god says right here in your heart it's time to forgive glory to god in the yikes as we serve the lord he helps us as i keep saying in the spirit he gives spiritual gifts i remember receiving a gift of a pen when I was having difficulty to write out, to try to express what the Lord wanted me to express by writing. And once I got that pen, even right here, because it was during this study, I was able to write out what needed to be said in a manner that is clearly. Hallelujah. Godly. Godly. Lobo shatabasna. Verse, Psalm 7, verse 11 reads this. God is a righteous judge, a God who displays his wrath every day. Psalm 9, verse 17 says, The wicked go down to the realm of the dead, all the nations that forget God. This is not a place where you want to be. Jesus Christ can save you. Turn away from wickedness. Verse 19 to 20 reads thus, Arise, Lord, do not let mortals triumph. Kadosh, Kadosh, let the nations be judged in your presence. Strike them with terror, Lord. Let the nations know they are only mortal. Glory to God in the eyes. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. On May 12, hallelujah, the Lord brought the meaning of a dream to me that I had revealed in the last recording last week. Hallelujah, wherein in the dream, the angel of the Lord turned, turned his head and looked behind, looking at me and said to me, God said, you're afraid of your hair falling off, but it will not. This was when the Lord also revealed Akodabo Shatara. This dream was when the Lord had also revealed to me that he is displeased with females, how they have been using their bodies as idols of instruments of lust to seduce persons, walking, swaying with their hips lustfully and using their beauty, Akodabo in sin. The Lord sees what has been happening. If you have been parading in carnival, if you have been parading at parties, if you have been parading in your daily lifestyle, hakoshto in nakedness or in seduction, your life is about lust and beauty, idolizing beauty. For beauty comes from the Lord, true beauty. But the idolatry of beauty, the Lord saying that there is a war and he is about to cause sore to break out on the heads of women. He is about to cause them to be taken into captivity. Hallelujah. So 
the Lord revealed another part of this dream. Why did the angel turn to say that, to mean to say that my ear will not drop off, that meaning this judgment will not reach me. Psalm 6 verse 4 has the revelation. Turn, Lord, and deliver me. Save me because of your unfailing love. So the Lord turned and he delivered me because of my unfailing love. Lama Kotesh de Sanda. Psalm 2 verse 11. Serve the Lord with fear and celebrate his rule with trembling. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lama Koshe Pela Basanda Rabakoto. Lube Kotorumo on May 13. Thank you, Jesus. We're very wrapping up. Glory to God. We still have a little more, some way to go, but we are getting there in Jesus' name. On May 13, 2024, I woke and I was praying with my hand clasped. Thank you, Jesus. Let's continue. On May 13, I woke up and I sat. I was still sitting on my bed, I had my hand clasped, and I was praying, look at this. While praying, I saw in a vision a gold key in my hand. Glory to God in the eyes. Hallelujah. Then the Lord revealed what this key, this access was. The word of the Lord according to James chapter 5. Glory to God. Glory to God. Do you want to know this word? Hallelujah. You can read the chapter for yourself. However, I will be giving you some highlights. Verse 3 to 4, it reads thus. Your gold and silver are corroded. Their corrosion will testify against you and eat your flesh like fire you have hoarded wealth in the last days look the wages you failed to pay the workers who mowed your fields are crying out against you the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. Hallelujah. It is wrong to be hoarding all that wealth for yourself. And not seeking the Lord. And not using your, your resources to help those who are poor. You may be saying, but it's my money. And I worked hard to get it. But I tell you this. The Lord, he causes the rain to fall on both the good and the evil. He is the one who blesses. Namashotokorebasanda. If you are in an opportunity of helping someone, please do. Glory to God in the eyes. Tokoshata. If you have employees, Please pay them because the Lord is saying that this cry has gone up into his ear. Kadosh, 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 Elama, Sotor, Bunda, Abbasan, Dibekoto. Pay attention to this, verses 9 to 10. Don't grumble against one another, brothers and sisters, or you will be judged. The judge is standing at the door. This is in reference to the Lord being our judge. Brothers and sisters, as an example of patience in the face of suffering, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Do not be gossiping, defaming, the character of someone, 
Hallelujah. Because the judge literally, the Lord literally stands at the door and he watches. For he is the only judge. Even now, let's pray. Even now, Almighty God, wherever we have fallen, even I have fallen, you know, Shatabasta, please forgive me. Forgive us. Help us, Lord God, not to be here wrongfully criticizing anybody. Father God, wrongfully criticizing and defaming and judging Kodabasta to condemn Adomoshelode Sanda, our brothers and sisters. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah in Christ. You're the only one who should be judging. Glory to God. And if we are faced with any form of suffering, grant us the ability to be patient as of the prophets of old were Lamakoto Sefe Lamandaraba. Help us to be patient. Verse 20 reads this. Remember this. Whoever turns a sinner from the arrow of their way will save them from death and cover over a multitude of sins. Glory to God. This is the significance of those who carry the good news, the gospel. Do not stop preaching. Do not stop serving the Lord. Glory to God. You're able to save a person's life through Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. On May 13, I heard the Lord say intensive training. What the Lord is doing in this time is bringing, is like he's doing, you know, when persons have to rush through a course to ensure that everything is done in the period of time glory to god in the ice wherein the lord literally takes his selected his selected few those who have been called to be a part of the end time army lama or ministers who have been appointed apostles in this time in this age of koto to tebante kitu to carry the gospel to work in the authority of jesus christ continuing the ministry of jesus christ the lord is doing an intensive training i remember i believe it was either early last sometime last year the lord allowed me to hear in this faith there was a cry that was going on and persons were saying boxed in the lord revealed this let me see if i can remember it mm. boxed in locked down we are not trained glory to god learn this without being trained the lord will not release you the Lord will not send you without training you. And without training, without learning from the Lord, without the discipline of allowing yourself to be learned, to learn from the Lord rather, He cannot trust you. He wants to know you have that self discipline. To allow yourself to go through this training even when the training gets very intense this is to prepare you for the mission field before the battlefield you don't know what awaits glory to god so if you want to be able to go further in ministry if you want to be able to walk your calling out to the end allow the lord to train you intensively glory to god thank you jesus i heard on may 13 2004 hallelujah some moments after that i heard this i call her daniel glory to god on may 14 when i was doing my review before coming to do this recording the lord brought the revelation he brought the revelation of Daniel, the prophet Daniel, 
This can be found in the book of Daniel, chapter 6, wherein he was Lama Kotorobo Shanda. He was being favored by the king. He was being promoted by the king. He was given so much responsibility. Hakorobo Shata, so much promotion. But his colleagues, Rima Sonorobo, started to become jealous and they sought to get rid of him. They sought to get rid of Daniel Lokobashta. Are you a Daniel? Who are you? What have you been going through? Have you been facing trials at your workplace? Have you have been have you been facing difficulties? Ramakoshto, wherein jealous persons have been coming after you. Look at this. Even now, Lord Jesus. Do for those who are like Daniel. There is a female who the Lord has said, you are. I call her Daniel. The Lord is saying that he sees what has been happening. And he is giving his promise that these lions will not devour you. What your colleagues, what those persons had intended to use to get rid of you will not work. This is your word. In Jesus' name, for in that scripture, the colleagues sought to find something to use against Daniel, but they could not. Because he performed his work with excellence, the favor of God allowed him to do that. Lama Kotor. So they said, they're going to have to attack his faith. Because they knew how committed or devoted Daniel is. This man, that he would not stop praying. So they tricked the king to make a law to ban persons from worshipping their God or any other God. They had to only worship the king of the time. It sounded good to the king. So the king fell to that trick. And he wrote the law only to find out that they were trying to get rid of his favorite. A man who is so innocent and works hard, Daniel. And he tried his best to repeal, to change the law that he made, but it could not. Because when a king's seal is added to a decree, it cannot be changed. And so is the decree that comes from the Lord, even through this ministry. For the logo of this ministry is literally the seal of the Lord Jesus. Look at the seal closely. So when the king, according to Daniel chapter 6, couldn't, he said to him, Daniel, may the God who you serve faithfully rescue you from the mouth of these lions. And indeed he did. You, Daniel was thrown into the lion's den and nothing was wrong with the lions. They could have devoured him, but the Lord shut their mouth. They could not harm him. So by the following day, Daniel was taken out alive. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Look how quick that deliverance shall be. And so the Lord shall deliver Korubasanda, those who are going through these Daniel trials. You shall be delivered quickly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I heard the Lord say, I deliver you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I receive your word, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let it be done according to your word, Lord. I receive your deliverance in Jesus' name. When you receive your deliverance, glory to God. So as a punishment, when the king realized what these wicked colleagues of Daniel were doing, the king ordered for them to be thrown into the very pit he had caused Daniel to be thrown in. And before they could hit the bottom of that pit where the lions were, the lions ripped those evil doers to pieces. This showed that there 
was nothing wrong with the lions. The Lord was protecting an innocent man, Daniel. Glory to God because he faithfully served the Lord. Glory to God. So now I will be sharing with you the encounter I had on May 14, the day when this recording first started. Glory to God. We're now into a new day, May 15. Thank you, Jesus. But if you if you watch the first part of this recording, you'll realize it started May 14th. So in the morning of May 14th, the Lord reminded me of Psalm 46. It reads, He is a very present help, an ever-present help in the times of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. He causes wars to cease to the utter ends of the earth. He also destroys the weapons. Glory to God in the highest and know the Lord to be your refuge. The Lord revealed to me this uncommon makote weapon of warfare. Hallelujah. Do you want to know? This uncommon Weapon of warfare is the Lord Jesus whip. Hallelujah is a fiery whip that he uses to drive out Satan, to drive out things that are not of God. From his temple courts. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the eyes. Thank you, Jesus. His Holy Spirit revealed this to me. And he revealed it by showing me. The confirmation to this truth by sending me to read John chapter 2, verse 15 to 17, glory to God, which is proven when Jesus entered the temple courts and he saw how they were selling animals and changing monies and doing all sorts of unauthorized things, things that the Heavenly Father did not create his house to be. His house is created to be a house of prayer. The Lord was enraged. Jesus was enraged and he took a whip and he started to chase out the animals. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. He scattered the money changers, coins, Glory to God. You overturn their tables. Glory to God. Do you want the Lord to become enraged, full of rage, when it comes to defending your life? When it comes to things that are trying to take up territory in your life that does not belong? You need the Lord. This is how he protects his own. You need him to protect you from evil spirits. Glory to God. You need him to protect you from evil spirits. So kosha, call on the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So kosha, talabandere de potosi. The Lord has revealed that there is a dispute that is occurring in the spirit. I will only share what the Lord wants me to share. Dispute means a disagreement. Namakoshto. Be wise, children of the living God. Hallelujah. If you are asked, if you are asked, this is all you should answer. I am born of God. Lamakotorobo shatalaba. When persons try to question your identity, be wise. Answer them, I am born of God. Glory to God. Luke 2 verse 12, look at this. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. Lama Galatians chapter 3 Verse 26 to 29 says, So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who were baptized in Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. 
there is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female. Hallelujah. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Thank you, Jesus. Let's continue reading these verses. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed, his offspring, and heirs according to the promise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So the Lord God allowed me to hear in the spirit realm. There is a dispute that is being asked, you're a Jew? The Lord says, if you are asked, in this time, you need to be careful. The Lord says, if you are asked, answer by saying this, I am born of God. Lema koto, with your reference being Galatians 3. Glory to God in the eyes. Verses 26 and 29. Seek the Lord for further guidance in regards to that. We give God thanks that he has broken off all the laws that would have restrained and prevented females. A lot of persons, you know, but what the Lord wants me to focus on, females. There were just so many laws that prevented females from getting the opportunity to serve the Lord fully. Under certain circumstances, Leviticus 12 speaks about the strict order for purification for females after giving birth. It also refers to a time of purification that is needed during menstrual cycle. Can you imagine if you're seeing your period, you can't go to the temple of God. You can't go in the temple of God. You cannot perform certain ceremonies. Okay, that was what used to occur back then. But thanks be to the Lord Jesus who has brought us grace so that at any time we can be purified. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God, you have confirmed your word. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Surely God is with me. Hallelujah. The Lord did something powerful. During this recording, I had to stop to go to use the bathroom and to return to finish. And the only reason I'm sharing this with you is because the Lord wants to prove this point. There were certain protocols of washing and ex extreme cleansing that needed to take place in the physical to present what should occur in the spiritual. Okay, glory to God. When a woman had a child, she had to wait a length of period, even double that length, about over two months before being able to go to the priest at the temple entrance to bring her animal to be sacrificed so that the priest can make an atonement for her, for her to be purified by the Lord so that she can return to the ceremony again, to worship in the Lord in the temple and so forth. Hallelujah. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Thank God this is no longer required. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Glory to God. So the Lord spoke to me, depart. Depart, depart. When I heard this word, I had to leave out of the house of prayer. That's in my room and area where I take that moment to pray to Jesus. That's our special spot that's guarded by fire. The Lord protects me. He asked me to depart. He was sending me to do something that 
I just, I, to my knowledge, I was seeing God. <laughs> I don't understand, but I'm going to trust you. Even after doing that, as instructed by the Lord, um, I can't get into much details. However, the Lord reassured me with his words and said to me, I literally hear the voice of God saying, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Glory to God. I also heard alabaster. Alabaster was when Mary brought that oil that expensive oil and she poured this oil upon Jesus in worship. Glory to God. And he confirmed this word to me with a song. The first time I heard it, I didn't even have to search for it. As I opened my phone, I saw this song on YouTube by Aware Worship. Beautiful song. Well sung. It's sounds beautiful, very anointed. That's why the Lord is referring this song to persons. I'm sure I'm not the only person. Thank you, Jesus. So depart. Hallelujah. We have to allow the Lord to order our steps. The Lord didn't want me to go to a certain place he wanted to change my path my normal routine because the word depart means look at this the word depart means leave especially in order to start a journey deviate change from an accepted prescribed or usual course of action Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. And the North American term means leave one's job. Glory to God in the eyes. Thank you, Jesus. So the Lord said to me, depart. Glory to God in the eyes. And he started to teach me about persons in the Bible who would also depart. They were, con they were instructed by the Lord to depart and what would follow. Follow. Glory to God in the eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. This will teach us what the blessing of Abraham and his descendants received. Glory to God. Because Galatians 3, verses 26 to 29, verse 9 says, If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed his descendants and heirs according to the promise there is benefit there is a reward from being in the family of god for being aligned configured as an offspring of abraham glory to god let's find out what this blessing is genesis chapter 28 verses 1 to 4 glory to god we're going to look at Abraham's grandson who was told to depart. Let's read verse 1 to 4. So Isaac, that's Abraham's son, called for Jacob, Abraham's grandson, and blessed him. Do not take a wife from the Canaanite woman. Woman, he commanded, go at once to Padan Aram, to the house of your mother's father, Bethel, and take a wife from among the daughters of Laban, your brothers, your mother's brother. May God Almighty bless you and make you fruitful. Pay attention. May God Almighty bless you and make you fruitful and multiply you. So that you may become a company of peoples, a great Okoshatala number of people, and you 
and may he give the blessing of Abraham to you and your descendants so that you may possess the land where you dwell as a foreigner, the land God gave to Abraham. Glory to God. So the grandson, whose name is Jacob, was being told, depart, go, leave. Hallelujah. Go and find a wife. But follow this instruction. Do not take an ungodly wife. Glory to God. And if you obey this instruction, that's why the Lord says we should not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. For light and darkness, God and Satan shall not and never will mix. Glory to God in the eyes. Thank you, Jesus. And if Jacob was obedient to follow the instruction, then he would receive the blessing of Abraham when the Lord would multiply him, cause him to possess the land where he would be a stranger. A lot of things. Glory to God in the eyes. Hallelujah. Persons may ask, but why is it that he's being sent? To form a wife from his, his, his mother's family. Back then, the culture is way different. Glory to God in the eyes. And I will stop there. Glory to God. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Let's look more about this blessing. This is all. It all began regarding the blessing of Abraham. Do you do you want to truly know what is this blessing of Abraham? What does this mean for me as a child of God? Hallelujah. Then you, you have to listen to this. Glory to God. Genesis chapter 12. So we're tracing back to the source. Thank you, Lord. Genesis chapter 12. Hallelujah. We're looking at the person himself, Abraham. Glory to God. For we have looked at his grandson, Jacob, what occurred when Jacob had to depart. Glory to God. And in obedience, received the blessing of Abraham. But we need to look at the source. Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 to 5 reads this. Then the Lord said to Abraham, leave your country your kindred and your father's household and go to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. Glory to God. I will make your name great so that you will be a blessing. Verse 3, I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you and all the families of the earth will be blessed through you verse 4 so abram departed see he also had to depart as the lord had directed him as the lord had directed him will you allow the lord to direct your path thank you jesus and lot went with him Abraham was 75 years old when he left Aram. Do not use the excuse to say, oh, I'm too old to do what the Lord is asking me to do. No, look at Abraham. He was 75 years old. Glory to God. And Abraham took his wife, Sarai, his nephew, Lot, and all his possessions and people they had acquired in Aram and set out. For the land of Canaan, when they came to the land of Canaan, and the scripture continues. So they obeyed the Lord. Abraham obeyed the Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The blessing of Abraham came because of his act of faith. Yes, his obedience to do whatever the Lord wills him to do. Hallelujah. We first 
see this in Genesis chapter 12 when the Lord asked Abraham to depart from his homeland into a foreign land and he did now let's look at Genesis chapter 22 glory to God we're going to look at some highlighted verses just to get an understanding sometime later God tested Abraham glory to God if you see the name change is because the blessing of God came upon Abraham hallelujah so that even his name was extended Ended, expanded instead of Abraham short Abraham a father of nations glory to God in the eyes that promised the Lord placed on his life even his wife instead of Sarai Sarah glory to God because the Lord promised hallelujah to multiply them look at this Glory to God. Sometime later, God tested Abraham. I must tell you the background story. Before, as you can see, this was an old couple. They didn't have any children. Yet the Lord had given them a promise that they would have a son. In fact, when this revelation was revealed, the battery, hold on, let me plug it in. Praise the Lord. So Abraham and his wife, Sarah, they did not have any children. In fact, this was when their names were Abraham and Sarai. The Lord came and gave them a word. He told them that by this time next year, they would have a son. Glory to God. The word of the Lord came to pass after so many years. They finally conceived having a child of their own. Hallelujah. In their matrimony. Glory to God. Genesis chapter 22 verses 1 to 2 reads this. Sometime later God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Take your son, God said, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. Offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains which I will show you. Remember, the Lord was testing him. Hallelujah. The Lord would have not caused any child, anyone to be burnt. He was only testing him. Testing Abraham to see if he loved the blessing more than all he loved. God. Glory to God. Verse 8. In fact, the Lord wants me to use this time to say, do not harm children. It is wrong to harm children. I see where the Lord has revealed to me that there has been attack. An attack going against, in the spiritual realm, against students. We have to pray. Pray for the students an advocate that devotion, Christian devotion will be returned into school. The children need the Lord. Namakoshta. There is only one God who can save. There is only one God who can protect. There is only one and we need him to rise up a standard to protect our children, Ramasokorodeshta. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Nalomokorabasta. Father God, I pray that you'll protect your children, even now that you'll dismantle every demonic attack that has been occurring towards students. Father God, oh, have mercy, Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus be seen covering your students, covering your children, 
Lord God, Obosa, for your heart is pure. Lama Shoto is not your will to see these children die. Oh, Masete, rescue them, God. Arise, O oh Lord. Arise for your children even now. For it is written in the word of the Lord that it would have been better for anyone who arms a child to put a millstone around their neck according to the written words of God and to go and go into the sea. The word of the Lord says that. That is the seriousness, the love God has for his children. Jehovah, remember, remember your word. You also said, Jesus, turn not the little children away from me. Loko Rabba Sanda, Father, have mercy on those who have turned away your little children from you, from getting to know you and from seeking you. I decree that devotions, Christian devotion, shall return in schools in Jesus' name, sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is finished in his name. I am a Ako Shatelebeka. I am Jesus, he is the I am according to Exodus 3 verse 14. While praying, I heard the Lord say, grant. Thank you, Jehovah, you will do this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. We honor you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Let's look on how the Lord was testing Abraham. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Sending him to see if he would offer up his son. Glory to God, his one and only son that he had waited for, that the Lord said that the promise would come through this son. Look. Glory to God. Verse 8, Abraham answered, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. And the two walked on together. The son was of an age where he, he's walking with his father and he's seeing in his father's hand. His father was carrying the fire and the sacrificial knife. And he, the son, was carrying the woods. But he was now asking, Father, where is the lamb to be sacrificed? The Abraham had faith. He said, God himself will provide. Glory to God, the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. And the two walked together. Confer, will you give your walk, grant the Lord your walk in this life? Will you walk with the Lord? For the scripture says, according to Hebrews, that the Lord he is a consuming fire. He is the fire and our lives should be the living sacrifices, not to physically arm ourselves or to kill ourselves god forbid it that's not what the lord is calling us to he's causes causing us to realize that we ought to live a life that is pure that is holy hallelujah putting to death that sinful nature of the flesh wanting to do evil kadosh 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 and to seek and to serve him only glory to god thank you jesus Thank you, Lord. This was pointing to the fact that in the future, the Lord God, he would send his son, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Lamb of God, Obosta, to make a perfect atonement for our sin. Hallelujah. Just as all that, that ram, Goreba, Shandala, Masanda, glory to God, Lama Shonda, was caught in a ticket by its arm, its horn rather, hallelujah, meaning picture a lamb, glory to God, oh it was just literally up high, right, because it was caught in its horn, glory to God, so the Lord, he was lifted high on that cross, he died for us, Thank you, Jesus. 
Jesa Matobi Mashate Masimoto Bikomo Sato. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So a ram, a ram was caught in the thicket. The Lord did provide. Had, had it not been for the faith that Abraham had, maybe if Abraham would have said, why is my one son? I finally get the blessing. God, I know you're asking me to give this blessing to you. No, 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 no. He would have missed out on so much. Hallelujah. Kadosh, Kadosh. We, we would have missed out on so much. Such beautiful salvation. Glory to God. Verse 14, And Abraham called that place, the Lord will provide. So to this day it is said, On the mountain of the Lord it will be provided. What is the it? What is it that you're looking to God to provide? Step out in faith. Call on him. Trust him. Go. He will provide for you. Verse 15, And the angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven a second time. Verse 16, saying, By myself I have sworn, declares the Lord, that because you have done this, in past the case, and have not withheld your only son, verse 17, I will surely, I surely, I will surely, glory to God in the eyes. Thank you, Jesus. I will surely bless you and I will multiply your descendants like the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will possess the gates of their enemies and through your offspring all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed my voice glory to god look at the blessing it's defined here hallelujah look at the abundance look at the fruit look at the ability to the own lands look at this nations are blessed indeed by us because god uses us to carry the gospel of salvation to them being the offspring, the seed of Abraham, once we are baptized in Christ Jesus. Therefore, we have become heirs. We become heirs of the promise, the blessing of Abraham, and being blessed with every spiritual blessings, as mentioned, or that is mentioned in Ephesians 1 verse 3. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. They all departed by faith, and the Lord rewarded their faith. Will you also depart? Will you start the journey that the Lord is leading you on? It's a faith walk. Walk in your calling in Jesus' name. I heard the Lord. He said, sent. Abraham was told to depart. And again, as Abraham, when his name was changed to Abraham, he was told again to depart each time. The Lord promised to bless him. Hallelujah. And the Lord did. Now Jacob, one of Abraham's grandson, was later sent, told to depart, to find a wife. And indeed he was blessed. God has said earlier to me, told that I should depart. Glory to God, and I have started this faith journey. Glory to God, and I'm looking to the living God, for it is written, those who look to him are radiant. Their faces shall never be covered in shame. I declare that as we look to the Lord, the light, our faces are radiant. We shall not be covered in shame in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Let me quickly share this dream that I had. It's a dream following an intercessory prayer. And to pray, going through spiritual warfare. 
glory to God. And during the spiritual warfare, I prayed and by the power of God using scripture, I overpowered the enemy and I took its possessions in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, so the Lord, this strategy that he teaches to his children on how to overpower a strong man is found in Matthew chapter 12. Glory to God in the eyes. Glory to God. So this strategy I use in prayer. Hallelujah. And I over I attacked and overpower, stripped the armor of that evil spirit in prayer. Glory to God in the eyes. And I took its possessions. So the Lord caused me to win that war in the spirit glory to god because we have already stated that the only war we do is praying right so in prayer glory to god in the eyes namasho toroho sandala mafotoromishna glory to god so after that i went to sleep thank you jesus i went to bed and i had a dream now i'll share the dream in the dream the Lord was revealing to me what was happening that, you know, the evil spirits were upset and they wanted back their possessions. Glory to God. So I, I woke up and I prayed, prayed as I sought the Lord. I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. And in prayer, I completely declared that such evil possessions be thrown into the of the living God devoured forever in Jesus name so they can't get it back and if they try to come against my life to back try to do any form of backlash think he could out about the spirit of the sovereign Lord he will raise up a standard even now in the name of Jesus he being the consuming fire shall devour such evil spirits in Jesus' name, sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ. It is finished. It is finished in his name. I am. Amen. The Lord showed me a vision of a book. Hallelujah. And this book, it had this, this small, small knife, I would call it, with this black handle. So I'm praying more about it. You see, as you seek the Lord, he reveals to you things that are happening, things that you are to pray about, things that the Lord wants to use you to dismantle every plot of Satan. Glory to God. Roko Shatalaba Sato War in the Spirit. Glory to God by the spiritual weapons the Lord Jesus Christ gives use his words use his words pray using his words glory to god so later on on this day i saw the lord standing glory to god glory to god and he said there are things that i want said the lord and i saw a schedule coming and i heard day when i thought about you know I thought about something or hard it is for me to rest. I feel like sometimes I just feel like I need to be working. I need to be doing the work of the Lord. So then I heard the hardest thing. Glory to God. Then when I looked, I saw in a vision a gold, a block of gold, like a lump of gold was placed in my right hand. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I saw before me right there and then an angel of the Lord standing. He was standing and in front of him, he had this podium like a stand where people speak from. And I was sitting before in real time, real, real, real time. Glory to God. God is the teacher and he will reveal to us what he wants. Hallelujah. Will you partner with the Lord so that he can use you as a vessel? Again, the Lord revealed Isaiah 31. And I'm encouraging you, please go and read this scripture. 
this is very important the lord is speaking woe to evil doers use this time to repent to be baptized in jesus name get yourself under the wings of the living god thank you jesus schedule a day glory to god account word schedule a day account word will you do this lama and i tell you the truth the lord brought this word to me luke 12 verse 1 there were many crowds that were coming so much so towards jesus to the point of they were trampling on each other and the lord gave this warning to his disciples first disciples followers of jesus listen up beware of the pharisees beware of the leaving of the pharisees which is hypocrisy be careful be an ambassador for christ second corinthians 5 verse 11 says therefore since we know what it means to fear the lord we try to persuade men that's people what we are is clear to god and i hope it is clear to your conscience as well verse 12 we are not con we are not commending ourselves to you again instead we are giving you an occasion to be proud of us so that you can answer those who take pride in appearances rather than in the art will you be an ambassador for christ glory to god in the yad sokosha it's not about taking glory for yourself but being confident of who the lord has called you to be and walk in that calling confidently knowing that god is your god losha he has your back glory to god you can cry to him and he will answer so i stop here in jesus name take dominion father take dominion lord draw your people from near and from far to see this light and be glorified in jesus name sealed by the blood of jesus christ of nazareth it is finished in his name i am amen exodus 2 verse 14 the lord name is i am hallelujah repent and be baptized thank you so much for watching i am shanika's servant of the lord his ambassador thank you thank you thank you jesus remember to share if you want to serve the lord please see this file please give your life to the lord heavenly father i confess that i'm a sinner kadosh 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 remove every sin from me i believe that you god raised jesus christ from the dead after three days i believe he is the lord hallelujah the sent one of god the one who is the only savior I accept him now as my personal Lord and Savior this day and forever. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Take over. Lead my life in Jesus' name. Serve the Lord only. Thank you, Jesus. I give you glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord bless you and keep you. That the Lord shines his face to you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance towards you and give you peace his peace both now and forevermore another blessing of the lord thank you jesus amen and amen sealed by the blood of jesus christ it is finished in his name amen and amen